The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is truly living up to its hype and price tag by revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. Recently, this supreme observatory astounded the world with its first triple image of a supernova, captured across a range of invisible to human wavelengths, revealing captivating corners of the cosmos. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is that it might hold the key to solving one of astronomy's most significant modern puzzles. Today, we delve deep into JWST's groundbreaking triple image of a supernova exploring how it could potentially challenge the laws of physics. A major challenge faced by modern astronomers, astrophysicists, and cosmologists is the uncertainty surrounding the rate at which the universe is expanding. Traditional methods of measuring this expansion, by observing distant objects and tracking their movements, consistently yield results about 9% higher than values obtained from signals imprinted in the early universe. This discrepancy has led to questions about a crisis in cosmology and the need to reconsider our approach to understanding the universe. One potential solution lies in directly measuring known objects' properties, such as type 1a supernovae, at even greater distances. However, observing supernovae at extreme distances is challenging, even for the powerful JWST, due to their rarity. Nevertheless, a groundbreaking discovery has recently emerged in a paper submitted on September 13, 2023, by Dr. Brenda Fry and her collaborators. In this new paper, they identified a Type 1 a supernova magnified and distorted by the gravity of a foreground galaxy cluster. This discovery, occurring in three independent places within the image, presents a unique opportunity to measure the universe's expansion with unprecedented precision. Type 1a supernovae are crucial astronomical objects due to their brightness, standard nature, slow evolution, and distinct characteristics. They serve as standard candles, allowing astronomers to infer their intrinsic brightness, which, when combined with redshift measurements, enables the direct measurement of the universe's expansion rate. What makes this discovery extraordinary is the presence of a foreground galaxy cluster acting as a gravitational lens, causing the supernova to appear in three independent locations. This gravitational lensing effect, harnessed by JWST's powerful instruments, offers a unique opportunity to measure the expansion rate with remarkable accuracy. The foreground galaxy cluster, named PLCK G165.7 plus 67.0, or G165, is a massive cluster located 4.5 billion light-years away, with a total mass exceeding 260 trillion solar masses. Within this cluster, multiple lensed images of background galaxies, including the triply imaged supernova, were observed. JWST's primary instrument for spectroscopy, near-spec, played a crucial role in obtaining spectra from lensed galaxies. This data revealed the presence of multiple lensed objects, indicating potential clusters of galaxies or groups within the lensed field. The study provides valuable insights into the mass distribution of the foreground cluster and the regions of maximum magnification. The triply imaged supernova, named Supernova HOPE, SN HOPE, opens new avenues for studying the Hubble expansion rate, H0, with unprecedented precision. By leveraging gravitational lensing and time delays of transient events, such as Type 1a supernovae, astronomers hope to unravel the mysteries of the universe's expansion. In addition to the scientific implications, this discovery offers a unique opportunity to study star formation rates in lensed galaxies. By analyzing the spectra of these distant galaxies, scientists can determine their star formation rates and anticipate future supernova occurrences. This study is a remarkable step forward, providing a lensed system that could potentially yield the most precise measurement of the universe's expansion rate using the cosmic distant ladder method. JWST continues to unveil shocking discoveries, and this triply imaged supernova, along with the lensed system, holds promise in resolving long-standing questions in cosmology. As JWST continues its mission, 
it stands as a beacon of hope for uncovering the secrets written on the face of the universe. The recent success of recovering samples from asteroid Bennu by NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft further adds to the agency's achievements, marking a historic moment in space exploration. In a mid-morning operation at the U.S. Army's Dugway Proving Ground in Utah, teams from NASA and the U.S. Air Force successfully recovered a space capsule containing samples of asteroid Bennu, collected by OSIRIS-REx in 2020. This marks the first time NASA has retrieved samples from an asteroid, showcasing the agency's ability to accomplish awe-inspiring feats. OSIRIS-REx, after traveling over 4 billion miles to reach Bennu and return, released its sample return capsule while about 63,000 miles above Earth. The capsule, containing 250 grams of rock and material from Bennu, experienced intense heat as it descended through Earth's atmosphere reaching speeds of 27,000 miles per hour. The successful recovery of the capsule, aptly described as touchdown for science, is a testament to NASA's capability to achieve monumental tasks. The OSIRIS-REx team navigated unexpected challenges, showcasing a deliberate and cautious approach that contributed to the mission's overall success. The recovered samples from Bennu hold immense scientific value, providing insights into the origins of life on Earth and the early days of our solar system. These materials, along with those previously returned from asteroid Ryugu by Japan's Hayabusa-2 mission, offer a unique opportunity to study the composition of asteroids and unravel the mysteries of our solar system's formation. The OSIRIS-REx mission, a billion-dollar endeavor launched in 2016, faced unexpected surprises when it arrived at Bennu in 2018. The asteroid, resembling a pile of gravel and rubble, required the team to adapt its landing plan and reprogram the spacecraft for a smaller landing site. Despite these challenges, the OSIRIS-REx team successfully executed the mission, exemplifying NASA's commitment to overcoming obstacles in space exploration. The recovered samples will undergo extensive analysis over the next two years, providing valuable information about Bennu's composition and shedding light on fundamental questions about our solar system's history. In conclusion, the recent achievements of JWST and the successful recovery of asteroid samples by OSIRIS-REx underscore NASA's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. These milestones contribute to our understanding of the universe and pave the way for future discoveries. As we eagerly await further revelations from these missions, the spirit of exploration continues to inspire and unite us all. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting updates in the next episode.